Okay, next one. What order is this? Hopefully you said Odinata. What suborder is this? Should have said Anisoptera, so it's a dragonfly larvae. So Odinata, if you'll remember, is dragonflies and damselflies. They're predaceous, both as larvae and as adults. They have folding mouths, um, which you can see sort of in this picture where it's folded up. Um, there are nine different families, 407 species in North America, and an entirely aquatic order. If you'll remember, the difference between Zygoptera and Anisoptera um, is that when the adults land, um, Anisoptera have their wings splayed out, and Zygoptera fold them up. The larvae, the dragonfly larvae, look really robust. They have very thick bodies and no gills coming out on the end. Zygoptera, on the other hand, look very slender, and they have these three gills. Now, don't be confused with mayflies. Mayflies have three tails that look kind of like hairs. Zygoptera have three gills that look more like leaves or petals. So, we will do three families of each. So first up is Eschnidae. Eschnidae excuse me. These are the darners. These are the big guys. They're very common, they're very ferocious, and they're huge. They have a big flat mouth with, um, with points, pointy parts. Um, their antenna are six to seven segments, um, but you're probably not going to be looking at that. The mouth is the key character. Um, the abdomen tends to be long compared to the rest of the body, and they have these big eyes that are like helmet eyes on the side. All right, next up is Libellulidae. These guys are smaller. They're a little daintier. Um, they are skimmers is the common name. They tend to have pointier looking eyes. They're not big helmet eyes like Eschnidae have. And their mouth is like a spoon. So Eschnidae had a flat mouth. Libellulidae, if it's all put together, is very spoon shaped. Um, these are smaller, eight to 29 millimeters. Um, and they tend to have these kind of longer legs. The other family we're going to learn is Gomphidae, um, and these are the club-tailed dragonflies, so the adults have this club tail here, but they have funky looking antenna. Um, the third antenna segment is much larger than the other segments, and it makes them look like really thick, like you see right here. The eyes aren't quite as pointy, but they're not quite helmets either. Um, their mouth is flat, not a spoon, um, kind of like Eschnidae. So if you get a flat mouth, it's either Eschnidae or Gomphidae. And then you want to look at the antenna. Um, and if the antenna look real chunky like this, it's going to be Gomphidae. If they're not chunky, it's going to be Eschnidae. There's some other characters that I mentioned that you can use. Um, like their body shape is a little different. Their legs look a little different. Um, but the key characters are flat mouth and these funky looking antenna where the third segment is larger than the others. All right, here we get to our damselflies. This is Calopterigidae. Um, they are 25 to 50 millimeters. And um, the first antenna segment is very long, longer than the rest of them. So they tend to have these funky looking antenna where the first part is very straight and robust looking and then all the other segments are much smaller. That is a key character that will help you out a lot. Um, also, the two side gills tend to be longer than the central one and these are found in streams. The adults are beautiful, um, so you might see them around streams. Um, the, you can actually tell the males from the female adults because the males have these black wings um, that are very distinctive um, and the female wings are clear. All right, the next one is Lestidae um, and in these the mouth is crazy long. They're um, 
So you can see this whole thing is this guy's mouth. And the mouth is very slender. And the, the first joint comes down inside the legs. Most of the other ones, their mouth is going to end here and fold up like this. So it might, if it was open like this, the other ones, their mouth would be like here. This guy's mouth is gigantic. Um, if you stretch it all the way out, their mouth is going to go down past their thorax. That's very long. Um, they're decent sized, um, 20 to 29 millimeters, not including the gills. So usually people are measuring the body size, not including the gills. This is Coenagrionidae. Um, and you can see here, their mouths are very short. You can see the end, his, this mouth is folded up, but the end at the first segment is not past all the legs. Um, the antenna segments are all about the same, and they look like more normal um, antenna. Their mouth is triangular, not long and skinny, and that's going to be the key character. You'll want to look at the antennae and look at the mouth, um, and I'll make sure all my pictures show this very well so that you can um, tell them apart easily. Coenagrionidae are the pond damselflies. They're very, very common in ponds, and there's a lot of different species, but they're very hard to tell apart at the species level.